regular on our set was a, a fellow named Del Combs, and he uh, found that horse for me. I had started on a big uh, uh, sorrel horse, a beautiful 17-hand horse, a lot of thoroughbred in him, and uh, we looked good together, and we, we did fine, and you could run him all day, but you couldn't get him to stand still in a shot. When he came to a shot, he just was all buzzed up, and he... he couldn't blow and calm down. You know that when a horse will blow out through his nostrils uh, and and empty his his lungs, that's the time when you know he's ready to do something different. And it's always important to let a horse blow. Well, this horse wouldn't blow. He'd come in and he want to go run again. And so he was just intractable. And I, I, I didn't have the horsemanship at that time. I'd always been on horseback since I was in diapers, but I. And I could ride just about anything, but I didn't have the horsemanship at that time to to school him and bring him into where he was calm enough to stand. You know, a horse has to stand sometimes for hours when when they take various takes of a of a scene. So, Bill brought me this home, this horse in, and showed him to me. I immediately fell in love with him with Jody. I loved his his coloring and markings and his whole setup. And uh, you could run him all day long, and he'd come to a stop in a shot, and he'd stay there until you tell him to just do something different. He was a well-trained motion picture horse, and I, I rode him for eight years. Wow. And we changed the horse in the final year when the men, we did the men from Shiloh, and we changed everything. Right. The guns, the, the gun belts, the horses, the costumes, and the hats, and all that. Supposed to give the show a new look, and it gave us such a new look that nobody knew what it was. Yeah. And they tuned it out, and uh, we went off the air. So hmm. it seemed like a good idea at the time, as the cowboy said, when he jumped into the prickly pear for a bush, you know. <laughs> 